because I had gone through that journey, I just want to bridge that gap. So I think that's where I try to sit down with people and just understand what's really going on. Catch them all on their bullshit and just give it to them straight. While I did go ahead with BBA, I had the option of joining, um, I think, one year or two year program in audio engineering. I think one of the schools in the UK had a really good program then. But for some reason, I, I went with the, a very regular degree in BBA. So those three years, um, I knew that I'm from a non-tech background. And this is around 2013. So this is when things in tech were starting to get interesting. Right, there were more roles other than development. Um, data science was, I'm not sure if it was booming, but it was something that people were talking about. And my family certainly expected me to at least try that out. Um, and actually I did. Before coming across what I went ahead with, I did a bit of data science, a bit of development. Flutter was what was the new thing, so I learned a bit of that. And then design. So out of these things, you look like design is the perfect thing. This makes you have left brain, right brain, both are getting triggered. So you look at problems both creatively and critically as well. So I went ahead with UX. Um, long story short, not many quality courses available at the time, which were physical in nature, because my family was like, yeah, online certificates kuch nahi hote, to get real shit done. Um, but that didn't really be, uh, that didn't really was that fruitful. So I was like, I'll just learn it myself. So I did my self-study uh, portfolio banaya, and based on that, I entered sort of the tech world, I can say, through, through UX designing. That went well. I think I learned a lot, built some really cool products and it, it came to a point where it was getting monotonous and the kind of decision making I wanted to be a part of, design didn't have that. By nature, it's an execution role. You figure out the how, but the why is not really your domain. That's when I thought, okay, maybe getting like a senior UX role or something like that, which I was excited because senior like attacked me, this one of those things. But I was like, okay, that's not going to fulfill me anymore. And so I switched from um, design to product management. I was confident that, you know what, I've done this self-study thing once, why not do it again? So I think for two months straight, I just studied about product management, what it is, what do people actually do, saw videos, skimmed through books. Um, I did all I could, but I didn't crack any of the roles then. Like, okay, maybe this is something that either I'm not good enough to do self-study wise, or perhaps it's in the nature to do a, maybe a formal training. And I reviewed a lot of the courses. I asked people for reviews. How's the course structure? Kya kar, kya hai, kya hai, how, how are things done? Things like that. By this time, I just had a very negative perception of EdTech. I mean, I didn't want to work there. I didn't want to be a part of it. Just nothing. One day, someone recommended me Rohan. So, fair one, no one see me the bad shit away. And he was just screening me. Very, very different. The, his, like the very first conversation, it wasn't like, kya kia hai, and all of those things. He was still tell me about myself, how is it going? Which was the first nugget that, okay, you know what, I'll also open up. So, on that, that call, he ended up making it a screening application of sorts. So, he gave me a Twitter problem. And me being the UX first person, I hardly gave it 8 or 10 seconds. I had solutions ek ke baad ek hai. And I thought I did well, maybe the solutions were good, maybe they weren't. But Rohan just went like, yahi nahi karna tha. Like, what do you mean? Didn't I just solve your problem? You gave me a problem and here are the solutions. But the whole journey that exists between a problem and a solution, while a UX professional or a UI professional does walk that path, you don't have the entire picture because you get handouts, you get requirements, specs and all, all of these. What are we building? This is why we're building it. But no one asked these questions. So that's when I thought, okay, this is something I need formal training for one. And Alan is the place where it's, it's going to be. So I think I joined in what, May of last year. And yeah, I think the cohort was brilliant. Really pushed me out of my comfort zone. I was confident that I'll be able to do it well, but I wasn't aware ki kitni mehnat lagegi just to, because every session it was like a myth busting, one one kind of a thing. I had so many assumptions, this is how shit is done, but that's not exactly how it happens. Um, especially now that things are more data driven and things like that. So I think I was not ready to continue as a full-time product manager after this thing. I had some stints where I can say I played the role of an APM of sorts. 
but still there was there was something's missing i made the mistake of thinking okay the covid is done now i can get a job so just to give you some perspective on that it took me 3 months to at least be at a good level of living in the product space or what we can call at least a first principle thinking approach jahan pe tum you really break things apart to to get more clarity on that to have a sense of depth in your thinking so that took a good while and i think during that cohort i didn't lose touch with rohan by the way i was bugging him ki you know i listen this is an assignment that's been given to me this is what i've done please tell me when we can have a call that that's when um, we also grew a bit closer in, in in terms of understanding how we think yeah long story short i don't i still don't know what he saw in me to ask me to be a mentor it's been i think this is the third or the second cohort that i've mentored a bunch of people i just know that because i had gone through that journey of trying to get into ux not having the right guidance and i paid in time it just took me much longer to get into something which probably should not have so i just want to bridge that gap and knowing that this is a profession jahan pe you need someone to be a creative all of sorts someone to give you things as they are give you real feedback if there's any fluff you're just not going to break into it So I think that's where I try to sit down with people and just understand what's really going on. Catch them all on their bullshit and just give it to them straight. Um there there are no false promises here at Allearn.